Hi everybody and welcome back to another week. Uh, this will be week number, well, 15, uh, or video number 15. Uh, this is part three of Sabrina's interview. She continues on with uh, talking about new food, things that don't agree with her, or things that do agree with her. Uh, pay attention to the stories because she drops a lot of hints in there. Uh, in the stories there, she'll tell you all about how this affected her or how that affected her. You know, so listen to the stories and pay attention. Interesting stories, like I said, Sabrina is, is one big fireball. She has got a lot of energy, that woman. Uh, absolutely amazing. She did a great job. Uh, about halfway through, you'll notice that the camera angle changes because uh, I had some technical difficulties. Um, I always have a backup camera available, so that's what... Uh, that's what that's all about. You'll you'll notice that about halfway through. Which is uh, right up over here. Uh, anybody that's new to this, to this channel will be a card. Uh, you click on that card, that'll take you back to the very first video. I highly recommend going back and watching that one and watch them in series. Uh, there's a lot of good information in all of those. And I'll talk to you after it's done. Bye. Family-owned pizza place, but they have the best like oyster. And it was like a baked oyster and I had it and it was like, it tastes like stuffing with <laughs> the way they cooked it. And it was really, really good. And I would have never tried wow. that before because my taste buds are like, eh, not greasy. Not, I don't want. Yeah. And I tried this and I was like, oh my God, this is really good. It's nothing wrong with that. You just have to listen to your body and don't go back to the ways of, well, I've never had that. And I don't want, like, I didn't have, I didn't like tomatoes long time ago and now it's like oh okay I, you know now i won't do yeah. these scuffle lines or whatever they call these things down here bullets or whatever <laughs> this thing I, no, I tried that before and after i still still doesn't get along with me but it's just listening to your body right and making sure people around you are listening to your body too so they can help you right. you know when you need help to get through you know um i i hear people talking about um what is it not binging but um when they have like the spells where things make them nauseous. I can't remember what they even call because I never have it. Yeah, I I really never experienced I mean I got the nausea because I thought that's what dumping was, but they were like, no, it's a hot butt. I'm like, no, I was fortunate enough not to have that a lot, you know, during my time. So um so I had to listen to my body in other ways and know when to eat and what it did change. Um for the better though. Yeah. I think I'm eating healthier too and I'm I'm more receptive to try things that I didn't try before. Yeah. Did you that do, people use me. Did you do a seminar? Did you go to the seminar? I did, did it online. Okay. I did it online. I had been looking at different programs for a couple of years, but like I said, I was afraid to do it because of the stigmatism around the surgery, right? right. And I was like, Sabrina, you're better than that. You can do this without that. You don't have to go that route. You know, you see what people say and you see the risk and this and that. And it was like, Sabrina, keep telling yourself this. And you haven't done anything, whether the surgery, whether, I mean, I try going to the gym, but my schedule's so crazy, it's really hard to do that as much as I would like to. Now, don't get me wrong, I have some equipment in my yeah, my garage now that I do some work with trying to firm up and tone up right. all the looseness right. right here, you know, but um, it was just excuse after excuse after excuse, and I needed something to kickstart me, right? And this was able to do that, right? And so, um, for me, I'm hoping that others, people that are around me, whether in the organizations, whether at work, people that see me in different groups online and see that for one, I'm very approachable, that there's no question too silly or that's a dumb question regarding this whole process. Right. Um, I wish I had a me around me when I was looking at this program. Right. Because, now don't get me wrong, there were a lot of people that the, the new fit group online, the Facebook group, I am so grateful that the fact that people are very blunt <laughs> <laughs> and they will tell you right. everything down to the gas right. and yeah. everything that you get right yeah. they're just very and they're, they're real but you need real yeah. because you're making a real life decision that's right right so having somebody like me so I'm trying to be that me for somebody else that may be considering it and I've been having there had people in my inbox and asking me I've had phone calls that I've said oh people search strangers across yeah. the I also learned too is that I give a testament of what I've been through and what I've done but I'm also trying to not to be pushy on others that are on the fence, right? I try to be supportive of them because I'm hearing that some people that have had the surgery in the past sometimes could be a little forceful for those that they see could benefit from it. And they're out of good means want to help them. But that person's not ready. Right. So then they take it the wrong way. And it's like, oh, you think, you know, because you did this. Now I got to. No, you don't. I'm just telling you about the option. Like with my husband. I did not. I 
he's the one that told me he was considering it and serious about it now. You know, and I'm all I can do is be very supportive and say, okay, if you're serious about it, then let your actions speak louder than your words. Right. Right? I don't want to hear a lot of talk. Well, I'm thinking right now. You know, let your actions speak louder than your yep. words. Yep. And I see him making those modifications to show that he's listening. Yep. You know, because usually husbands and wives are usually ones that don't listen to each other. <laughs> Right, you know, we listen to everybody else, but not know each what other, right? Hmm, you know, what? but you know, and so now, and but I'm not trying to be hard on him. I have to catch myself sometimes because I'll see him eating things that I know he shouldn't eat because he's diabetic too. Oh. And I'm like, ah, and I want to say, ah, you, you're gonna be, you want to do surgery, but you're gonna eat this. No, Sabrina, you can't do that because that's smacking him on the hand is gonna deter him from wanting to do it because he's like, well, she's just gonna, you know, find fault in everything I'm doing. Everything I didn't learn to eat in 20 minutes overnight. I didn't learn not to drink with my food, twenty, you know, overnight. So, I, I know that just like I had to learn and go through the process, he has to too. He has to slowly get his mind ready to do those yeah. things, you know. And, but it's so tempting because I see people that are, you know, heavier and overweight and struggling, and I'm like, I know of this tool that you can use. It's like being a car mechanic, and you know what'll fix your car, but. You gotta let somebody come into that on their own. You can give, tell them about the tool, but they have to want to use the tool and be successful and committed to learning how to use that tool to help them get what they need to get done. Yeah, and then they're like, oh, wow, hey, then if it I do this, then this happens, yes. and then this happens. <gasps> and you then know, they start, exactly. Yeah. Yep. I learned that there are things that I like to eat that I could have that I would think is going to be like really high in sugar and this and that and everything. It's like, oh no, this is actually not because I learned that label. And it's like, I don't go around preaching the label. Now, now I just automatically can spot it and go, okay, yeah, this is good. This is bad. This doesn't have enough protein. I need to line a level off because that whole hair loss thing is a big thing for me, right. you know, um, because my body was like, eh, you know, and I, but having support from the group, I'm learning that that's just normal. It's a process, part of the process. It'll thicken out after a while. You gotta level off, you know. And if it does, it does. It does, it doesn't. Hey, I'm ready for the Sinead look if I have to. I am okay if it gets down to that point, you know. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm healthier, I'm happier. Everybody's like around me, they're like, you've always been like a very joyful person. And even when you were, I mean, cause I had, I was on nine different medicines before this. I've had two strokes. I had to relearn how to walk and feed myself. Uh, five years ago, not even five years. Yeah, wow. five years ago, I was in Sea Pines Hospital here for six, well, fifty-eight days, learning how to walk, talk, feed myself, and everything. I had a stroke at work wow. from stress and being overweight. I was on heart medicines, I AFib, which is just about gone away, which is amazing. Um, like I said, I was on nine different medications, cholesterol, this and that. All of my numbers are great. I'm not on any of those medications. The only thing I take are my vitamins. No one, I mean, my health, my husband just talked about that. He's like, I remember the med regimen of all the pills and this and that, this because of this, and the side effects of this, you need that. And I had Crohn's too. And that's another reason that brought me to doing gastric bypass versus the sleeve is because since I have Crohn's, they wouldn't do the sleeve. The recommendation is do bypass because, because my Crohn's was in the part of my stomach that they would be removing anyway, that would kind of kill two birds with one stone and help relieve my, I haven't had a Crohn's flare since I had the surgery. And... So it helped me all the way around. All the Crohn's meds that I was on, all right. that stuff, I'm off of all of it. I'm just on my vitamins, you know? And yes, that's the only thing that I struggle with is my vitamins, you know? And I was waiting when I went in for my checkup to, for them to tell me, you know, when they drew like 50 vials. Yeah, see, I know, right? You know, I'm like, are you still drawing? I was like, I don't think I have no blood left, <laughs> right? I was waiting on them to tell me, the only thing I was down was my calcium and my iron. Those are the only two, and I'm like, I just knew they were getting ready to give me the, you need everything, because I know I'm bad with taking all of them, right? Um, I'm better with the gummies and the pills, because I still have trouble with forcing a lot of water in, right, right. to take pills. Um, but I wasn't. So, but it tells me that I'm eating right, and I'm eating the foods that I need to be able to substitute and get a lot right. of those vitamins from. You know, the potassium with my bananas and things like that, you know. So there are things, I've been low iron all my life. I've always had an iron deficiency. And now it's very little, just very little. So it's like, okay, all right. So all the things that I worried about beforehand work themselves out, you know. And so now I look at it as, okay, what can I do 
besides helping myself be healthier, to inform people around me so that they know this is a viable option for them and remove the stigmatism around the process and the surgery itself. Right, yeah. You know, yeah, so that's I, why when I saw you wanted to do this, I was like, I'm not talking, yeah. trust. <laughs> I, I went online, I looking at all, I'm like, all the videos out there are all professionally done by whatever company or whatever medical group is doing yes. them. And I'm like, they're not personal enough. They're like, they talk yes. to a couple people, but they don't really, like, I want to sit down and talk to people and exactly. get their honest, you know, unbiased opinion and mm -hmm. and I'm like I wanted something real mm -hmm. and, and so people can relate to. So I'm exactly. like that's why I wanted to do this. So exactly. like Okay everybody and there you go. Part three of Sabrina's interview. There is one more part coming that'll be next week. She talks about trying out new foods, how she's, you know, supporting others, supporting everyone else in the support group. Not just the support group, but anyone else that, that comes up and talks to you and is thinking about doing this, uh, tell them about your experience. Uh, point them back to this channel here and, and have them watch some of these videos. Anybody that's on the fence about it, like, you know, I mean, everyone's different, you know, this isn't for everybody. When you tell them, make sure they understand that, you know, all the commitment and, and how their life is going to change and how they have to stick to this or or it's just not going to work make sure they understand that a lot of people just think you know like it's, you know, people think this is the easy way there's absolutely nothing easy about this uh, I, I say that all the time and i will continue saying it uh, everybody is different everyone's going to have different issues everyone's going to have more success than others uh, that doesn't mean you you fail that just means that you know your body is different everybody is different your f different foods are going to affect different people different ways so you know that's why i was trying to do these videos because you know like i said you know the more people that come out there and do this and they can share their experiences um you know the more information we get out there about how this works and and how everyone is different yeah pay attention uh if you don't mind there guys uh hit that like and subscribe button i want to keep these videos going um i'd love to do more interviews so if you uh text or email me what uh, pm me for, through facebook you know contact me let me know i'm going to do them all here at my house my family someone in my family is always here so we usually sit back back by the pool and we'll do them out there if you ever want if you want to do one of these let me know hit that like and subscribe button and i'll talk to you guys next week bye